Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of experimentation with Remix and connecting locally. I think that local host, um, I think it may have been just connecting to the file system. Uh, I read instructions on how to actually connect to the blockchain. So what I did is I set it up uh, according to their instructions and their instructions specify a, let's see, a particular, um, let's see if it has it. Let's see, when you go, you know something? I didn't see it. So let's see if this is going to work. So you go here and they go through this. Now I changed this to 30301 which is the um, port that I used when I started the, um, the node. And let's see what happens. You see, they, when it comes up, they specify a very particular way of starting up Geth, uh, which is Ethereum. And it went there. Of course, the minute I click on anything, but what we're going to do is we're going to compile. Then we're going to go and let's see where we can go here. Uh, here. That's compiling. Um, so this is, so it published. And then we're going to go here and we're going to select the provider, which is, again, we have to change it to the port we started it from, or it's not going to be able to find it. And it says it's there. So now we're going to deploy. Not possible. So, did not have any success here. I will tell you locally, it works just fine. You deploy it and uh, and you can calculate your square. But the, the, for some reason, it does not want to go to the, let's try, no, oh, that's with the Meta Wallet. That's right. Well, let's try this now. I wouldn't, ex wouldn't have expected it. Now, let me try one other thing. I'm going to restart the chain. And we're going to leave port out and see what happens if, oh, here's an error. That doesn't look right. Got two HTTPs. Let me double check what I got here. No, this has, oh, I see. That is correct.
Ah, I did. Leave something out here. So let's see what happens. All right, so it started. We're gonna do this. No. I wonder if. I think that's to, to do the file system. But let's go back here. So we get up and running component, but when you deploy and run a contract from the environment and add to the pop up box, click deploy and interact with the contract. And that let's try try it using this and We're going to copy it this exactly. And why this is not stopping. Well. Okay, now we're going to try this exact copy here and see if that, and that's going to, if this doesn't work, well, then we're going to have to do a little bit more investigating. So let me recap what we're trying to do here. I have Remix running. I started up a local node and here's our remix. Now I want to go here and go to web provider and well, so far it hasn't come up with an error. And it still says web provider. This is very good. So now we're going to deploy. Woo! We got it! So the command that they gave in the, in the Ethereum documentation is more accurate than the pop-up for Remix. And it, the key thing here is this if you want to run something in dev mode so that's what you have to do follow this in the ethereum and it looks like it's working we were able to deploy it and now we're going to try to run it and see what happens so god put in a value here well we can make it a thousand and you see actually you see something happening here and calculate the square and
block two. Uh, hash starts with 413. And it's sitting here. And it looks like we're it's go it's doing let's see something. Um set value. So this is working. It says it's going to the custom network, which is the network we we started, and the transaction transaction hash is 413. Let's see if we can find that anywhere. IPC point. Hmm. There's a seal hash. And that's interesting. We're not seeing it here. But I wonder if we deploy it again, what happens? Yeah, you definitely see it. It did something. Okay. But it's actually the calling it is well, this is very interesting. So you can see we succeeded um, with a bunch of messing around before I got it to actually work. And um, so anyway, let's go, uh, we have a very simple program here. We compiled it, and one thing I discovered in compiling it is it wanted this version of Solidity, and if I tried to change it, it did not like it. Um, the other thing we published on Swarm and IPFS, we did not, we published on Swarm. Then we went, excuse me, went here and deployed it. And, but before we deployed, we had to set this to go to the custom network. And in order for that to work, we had to use, start it up very specifically with this command, the one that, pops up when you go to do it. It doesn't like for whatever reason. And um, then we were able to deploy it and see it at, you know, see something actually happen here. And then we were able to um, actually interact with it. And you can see true transaction mine and execute execution succeeded block three so it is we got a transaction hash from oh yeah I'm checking I'm looking at transaction hash here which says full hash and then this trend so this is at this is definitely working so if you found this helpful, then uh, please give a like, please um, uh, subscribe, and please tell your friends. And um, hopefully, again, this was helpful, and I will see you next time.